Hi friends, we're celebrating Israel's birthday this week and she's 72 years young. The thing about Israel, it always has abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables and Israelis like to eat kind of light, meaning they don't like to eat heavy foods. The thing that I like the best is what they call Israeli salad and I'm gonna make that for you today. And you could probably make some of this if you you probably chop some of this if you could, but you can always help. We have fresh tomatoes, fresh parsley, cucumber, lemon, a little red onion, olive oil, and we're gonna top it off instead of a pita bread, because I don't have any pitas today. We're in Texas, we're gonna use a tortilla. So the first thing we're gonna do, first of all, I've washed my hands really good. I've rinsed off all the vegetables really well. That's always the most important thing. So I'm not real good at cutting onions, <laughs> but we're gonna do the best we can. And in Israeli salad, everything is cut very, very small. So bear with me. I'm probably not gonna use all these onions. Miss Eileen is already starting to cry. How many onions do you want, Miss Linda? <laughs> Whatever it takes. And remember, see why I use my fingers? I don't want to cut myself. All right, so we're going to put that in our bowl. This is a very simple, simple recipe. And basically, you can do as much of one thing or another. If you don't like onions, don't put them in. Miss Eileen's crying. All right, the cucumber. We're gonna hold on to either side. <coughs> Take a big slice. And this is what they call an English cucumber. The skin is very, very thin, so you don't have to skin it or peel it. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go down the middle, make a couple of different slices, oops, this way, and this way, and I know a lot of you love cucumbers because you eat them with me in aftercare. Again, very small pieces. And you keep moving down. All right, put it in our bowl. Miss Eileen's still crying. Okay, we're gonna take a few tomatoes. Now you can use baby tomatoes. You can use big tomatoes and cut them up. I know some of you bring baby tomatoes for lunch. And I'm cutting them in half and then half again. That's called quarters. Miss Eileen's still crying. It must have been a strong onion. And again, if you don't like onions, you don't have to put them in. Now, this is a bigger tomato, so I'm gonna cut it this way. All right, just a few more. And the secret, I think, to a good Israeli salad is the parsley. Now, I know we use parsley at Passover, but actually parsley, not only is it very good for you, but it just has a very nice, clean taste. Very fresh. All right, this is, and this is a small bunch of parsley. I don't think I need all of it. I'm gonna cut it again. Smell that? Smells pretty good. All right. Now we got all of our main ingredients in. You can use salt or pepper. I like to use a blend of both. Do a little shot of oil, olive oil. And again, because we want this to be light, fresh tasting, we're gonna use, oh, 
a little squish of lemon, and I hope I didn't get a seed in there. <laughs> Here we go. Look how pretty that is. Just gorgeous. Now you could put that on top of different food. You could eat it with some hummus. Eat it with a pita. Because we're in Texas, we're gonna use a tortilla. And I'm gonna imagine the longer it sits, if I waited a little bit longer, it would taste really a lot better. Also, I like sometimes to put avocado in my Israeli salad, but then it'll just be Eileen salad. Okay, here we go. Taste with me. Hmm? Pretty tasty. If you try this, let me know. Have a great day.